In this video, we will demonstrate collecting a nasopharyngeal specimen from a patient under investigation for COVID-19. Healthcare providers who suspect their patients have COVID-19 should consult their public health department to determine if the patient meets criteria for testing. Recommendations by the CDC as of March 13, 2020 are to collect a single upper respiratory nasopharyngeal swab. Personnel performing a nasopharyngeal swab should wear personal protective equipment that meets the guidance recommended by the CDC. The required equipment for the nasopharyngeal swab includes a synthetic fiber swab with a plastic flexible shaft, viral transport media, facial tissues, a flashlight, alcohol-based hand rub, EPA-approved disinfectant wipes known to kill human coronavirus, a waste container lined with a waste bag, laboratory transport biohazard bags, patient identification labels, a permanent ink ballpoint pen in dark blue or black ink, and absorbent pads. As healthcare workers prepare to collect a nasopharyngeal swab, they should be mindful that the patient may be experiencing anxiety and fear. It will be important for the healthcare worker to provide an explanation of the procedure and reassurance as needed. If there is concern that the patient may react negatively by reaching for the swab or pushing the provider away, for instance, consider having a buddy standing by to assist if necessary. If the patient is a pediatric, distraction techniques may be required. As with any procedure, ensure institutional protocols are followed at all times. To begin, Follow your facility protocol for identifying the correct patient and preparing the procedure area. Raise the head of the bed to a comfortable height for the procedure. Ensure the patient is in a comfortable position to help facilitate the specimen collection. Prepare equipment by placing items on a disinfected bedside table. Prepare the items on the table in a manner that is conducive to performing the procedure. Place packaging into the waste container unless it is required to maintain sterility of the equipment. Unscrew the cap from the vial containing the transport medium, but leave the cap on top of the vial. Place an opened disinfectant wipe on the clean table in preparation to receive the container after sample collection. Once you are ready to obtain the specimen, perform hand hygiene. Healthcare workers must be mindful of the potential contamination risks they may encounter during the specimen collection, including exposure to infected bodily fluids and the potential contamination of personal protective equipment. Barriers can be used during the procedure to help mitigate this risk. For instance, strategically placed absorbent pads can protect bed linens from exposure to body fluids that may be expelled during the procedure. Drape an absorbent pad over the patient's chest to collect any spills or respiratory droplets. Ask the patient to blow their nose with a tissue to clear their nostrils. Using a flashlight, inspect inside the patient's nostrils to ensure there are no obstructions, such as a deviated septum. Pick up the nasopharyngeal swab holding it between your thumb and forefinger with the shaft resting on your middle finger. Have the patient tilt their head back. A pillow placed beneath the patient's shoulders can help facilitate the tilting of their head. Place your other hand firmly yet gently on the patient's forehead to help keep their head in the desired position for the procedure. Throughout the procedure, be mindful of your body positioning. In the event of a patient's sneeze, you will want to ensure you are standing to the side of the patient out of the direct path of respiratory droplets. Insert the swab into the patient's nostril parallel to the palate. It is helpful to have the patient clench their eyes shut as the swab is inserted, as this can help inhibit the sneeze reflex. It is also helpful to turn the swab gently as the swab is advanced. Once you feel resistance and the swab has been inserted at the expected depth, leave the swab in place for a few seconds to absorb secretions. Gently withdraw the nasopharyngeal swab and remove your hand from the patient's forehead. 
place the swab in the vial. Once the swab is inserted into the vial, break the shaft at the scored breakpoint line. Use the vial's cap as a barrier between the healthcare worker's finger and the shaft by positioning the cap over the vial while breaking the swab. Alternatively, hold a sterile gauze over the top of the vial while breaking the swab. Replace the cap and tighten to secure the vial. The remainder of the shaft that does not get packaged should be considered a sharp and placed in a sharps container. Perform hand hygiene. Wipe the nasopharyngeal specimen vial with an EPA-approved disinfectant wipe. Follow your facility policy for labeling. And place it in a laboratory transport biohazard bag. Wipe the bag with an EPA approved disinfectant wipe and follow your facility protocols for transportation. Clean the procedural area and provide care to the patient as needed. Additional resources are available at the NETEC and CDC websites. If you have any questions, please contact NETEC directly at info at